Welcome back to Lee Piss Live. Of course, I'm Lee Piss here on, on, on the award winning Lee Piss Live on Fox 4. The Stefan Strada tournament is about to get started. Practicing is going on in the background tournament. Teams are starting to file in and it's, it's going to be going on throughout the night. We have a coach here from Mariner High School who has been just outstanding in accommodating this uh, tournament. And uh, everybody has been talking about him and uh, how he just came through uh, in the clutch. Coach, let's get your full name. Uh, my name is Ryan Hersek. Coach, how long have you been coaching here? I actually just took the job about two years ago. I actually played here about 25 years ago. So. Actually, so everybody that doesn't know who you are, you're a big name, right? <laughs> I'm 6'4", but I don't think my name's very big. No. I saw you out there shooting some of the left. You look like you had a little technique. You played college ball as well? I did. I played at FAU. Okay. Uh, to, um, talk about... Um, First of all, let's talk about what's happening here tonight and uh, how Mariner High School uh, became the uh, centerpiece for all of this. So it's just a great cause. Uh, Officer Smalls and the Sheriff's Department, they put this, this showcase on for uh, local players and, and even some JUCO players that are currently in junior college. Um, some coaches come out. Uh, I think there's about five or six college coaches coming out to watch the kids play. and. Um, we're just thrilled to be the facility that uh, was able to host it for them. So we open up the doors and hope people show up. Well, it's going to be a nice turnout. I've been to these in the past, and it's a big, uh, big to-do. And we're so glad that you came through and was very accommodating in making this happen. We're in the high school, actually, that the world-famous NBA basketball uh, football player, uh, Ernest Graham, attended along with Teddy DuPay, right, the uh, standout uh, basketball player. Yeah, they, uh, let's see, they both graduated in 1998. I graduated in 96 and played with them for a couple years here, and I'm still close with both of them. And uh, Ernest's son is, is going into eighth grade along with my youngest, and they're really close right now. So, um, and he's over at ECS doing his, his head coach and football thing, and I'm just glad to be back here where it started for me 25 years ago, and hopefully we can get this program rolling. You, when you left here, you went out, you played ball, you got your degree. Yes. Let's talk about the importance of that because that degree has allowed you now to come back and be able to be a, a coach, right? It has, yes. And I actually, I don't teach at the school, um, but the degree, you know, it's, it's a piece of paper, but that piece of paper opens up so many doors uh, for, you know, anyone that gets it. And um, I learned the hard way my first year at college. Uh, I actually was sidelined by my coach because of my first semester grades and Ended up getting through and graduating in four years on time. Mm, and hear that? Y'all hear that? Mm -hmm. Yep. And uh, it, it can't be overstated. It really can't. And, and talk is cheap with it, too. So um, it took me until getting getting there to realize it. And, uh, you know, basketball opened up a lot of doors for me. I, I Obviously, I got a scholarship, so I have no student loans and things like that. Mm -hmm. So it's it's great opportunities, and it doesn't have to be Division One. Um, there's so many opportunities to play basketball after high school. You have junior college, you have Division II, NAIA, Division Three, and all those all those programs are looking for players. So, what do you expect out of your basketball program this year? Uh, we'll see. I've been here a couple months. Um, <laughs> I can say that they show up to the gym. So when we have workouts, we, we have good good turnouts. Um, you never know who's coming, who's leaving. It's kind of the way of the world, so I'll know a lot more come, come August 12th when school actually gets Well, at least in. they show up to practice. We're talking about practice, people. That's right. That's <laughs> We're talking right. about practice, Coach? Yeah, we are. We are. <laughs> Not like Allen Iverson. We are. We're talking about practice. <laughs> Coach, uh, before I let you go, um, what does it do uh, in general that we get these kids involved in moving and athletics, keeping them off the street and just just providing opportunities for them to occupy their time. Yeah, there's, I mean, as far as basketball goes, and really it's it's any sport or any activity, um, the one thing I know for sure is you can't get better if you're not working on it. And you can't work on it, for instance, in basketball, unless you're in a gym or at a court. Um, you're not just gonna wake up after summer break and just be better. You might be a little bit bigger if you're in middle school or you're in your growth, that's right. And it, it just doesn't happen. There's no such thing as, as natural skill improvement. There's there's natural physical abilities that improve, but but there's no such thing as natural skill improvement. So um, it's good to see 
kids in the gym period i love it over at the stars last year i was at dunbar um with actually my old high school coach uh coach tim maloney and um now i'm fortunate to have another gym to be able to open up to kids how are fundamentals being taught these days compared to when you were coming along uh i just don't think there's much to be honest with you it's a lot of travel basketball and it's not to downplay travel basketball but i think kids are playing a ton of games and it's just natural if you're in the gym playing games it's taking away from being in the gym working on your skills that's right a lot, of these, so. a lot of people can't even shoot the basic uh, free throws, man. I'm working with my son right now just on bending his knees and getting that elbow up coach and just releasing at the top of the shot. They out there running around traveling instead of getting the kids in the gym, get that rhythm, get that shot up, and shoot the ball. Coach, I play basketball at a high level. I guess you can figure that out right now. I like hey, it. Hey, get that ball on that fingertips and get that rotation. That's right. Hold the follow boom. through. Like little, those little fundamentals. Yeah. But I'm sure you're teaching that in your program. We are. We are. And, and, and a lot of them at, at this point, hopefully have at least most of that. <laughs> There's some stuff that they don't, and uh, we just work on it. We work on it every day. There you go. Coach, well, keep up the good work. We appreciate you. Before I let you go, who's going to win the NBA? Uh, who's going to be in the, e uh, in the NBA Finals, and who's going to win it all? Next year, yeah. wow, there's been so many changes. I, I think I like Houston. Really? Yeah, yeah. You think that, you think that Westbrook is going to work I'm out? A, I'm a Westbrook fan. I mean, I'm a... I, if Thompson was playing next year, I still like Golden State. I still think they got the four best players of, of all the rosters, but I think he's going to miss most of the year. So I love Westbrook. I think he plays as hard as anybody in the league every minute of, of every game. Um, and obviously they're going to score a ton of points with that system. And in the East, wow, I don't know. KD's not playing. I think Boston's probably going to be back next year. Okay. So. Well, Coach, appreciate it. And uh, I see you can appreciate those fundamentals. You're giving a, a lot of people overlooking uh, Golden State. I'm like you. I still think that that's a team to be reckoned with because they play basketball the right way. They do. Fun to watch. Fun to watch. We'll be right back.